All right. Well, I'm trying to do this with my stupid phone. And I can't even hardly see my own screen. So, here's the deal. This is my Mr. Funnel. And if you look down in that fuel, that's non-ethanol gas that I got from a station not far from my house just a few days ago. And if you look down in there, you can see, I see it now, see those metallic things at the very bottom? There's metallic particles. That's what it looks like to me, metallic particles. That just came out of my jerry cans. And this is my Mr. Funnel, and you can see. See that screen? It's like a 10 micron screen. And I highly recommend this. Highly recommend it. This is just what came out of my jerry can. There you go. Here's my other jerry cans. And I just put six gallons of gas in the boat. Now, you may think to yourself, that's not a huge deal. Uh-oh, I just poured it all over my workbench. Okay. You may think that's not such a big deal. I'm using my siphon tube, my good old shaker. Remember, I talked about that before. But you may not think that's a big deal. Well, I do because I don't want my filters after a while having any metallic anything in it, to tell you the truth. So it, yes, it could be caught by my filter down inside the boat. It could be caught in my filters in the engine, but why even go there? Why even go there when you can have a safeguard? All right, let me show you my filters while we're here on this short little video. Hold on. There's my MARPAC filter. And I can actually see that in between those pleats, it's getting dirty. I'm gonna give it a few more trips and I'm gonna change that out. All right, so there's my MARPAC uh, filter. That's the one that I did a video about. I'll put it in the, in, the, in the description below where that is a lot cheaper to uh, change out than those really expensive Ray Cores. Those Ray Cores could be 40 bucks. This is the exact same thing. And it's by Marpac. And it's called the Quick View, I believe. So, of course, that's my first line of defense. And then, of course, in my Suzuki. There's a water fuel separator filter pleated filter and then after that you got your high pressure filter for your for your you know uh, fuel injection direct injection what I don't know fuel injection so there you go I just wanted to show you and if I look down in here it's a little if I look down in there you're not going to be able to see it but if I look down there, it's damn clean. So where did I just pick up those metallic little tiny, tiny pieces? I'll tell you where. From the gas station. All right, this is the Jetty Wolf, Captain Dave Sport Fishing, signing out. Just another FYI. I'm looking after y'all. I'm looking after y'all, okay? See you on the next one.